Hey everybody, Ann here. Yep, just sitting on my porch again, drinking my coffee, chatting with all of you. And I have to show you something super cool I got in the mail. I'm so excited about it, but I want to show you something first. This is the side of my house, and that's my roof. It's been raining like crazy, and it's already starting to develop a rut. I wish that there was a way I could just... You know, I mean, I, I know I want to um, get a gutter system attached to both sides of the, the roof. Let me show you this side over here. Also rutted. But until I can afford to get the, the gutters done and make a rain collection system, this rain is doing a lot of damage. I don't know if that's going to affect... Because look down there, there's there's the block. I hope it doesn't start shifting. I almost wish I could find some containers just to put up underneath of there for now <laughs> to, to collect all this rainwater that's just going to waste. It just bums me out. Oh, and I also wanted to show you, I pulled this little thing back out of the woods. And remember, remember you guys how, how dry it was? Let's see if I can get a good shot of this. Come on. Well, it's bouncing back. Check it out. It's all flexible. Now, I'd asked in another video if this was a Venus flytrap. This is not a Venus flytrap plant. It just looks like one. It's a lichen, and I need to get the name of it for you because I looked it up. Um, there's a specific name for this. But it is a lichen, and it grows all over my property. What I want to know, though, is what is the purpose of those little flytrap-looking things? Does it actually capture bugs or whatever? But this is very cool. It is bouncing back. Um, I thought it was dead, but it's very flexible now, and it is just beautiful. So I'm going to keep it up here and just kind of watch, watch what it does. And then as soon as I get the uh, official name for this particular lichen, I'll put it up there for you. Isn't that beautiful? This is what I got from my dad in the mail. It's a complete book on how to do drywall. And it's got so many different good instructions and photos. It comes with a DVD too. But I got to tell you, just going through this, oh, I don't know. Here's what the back looks like. I've got so much to learn, so much to learn. I mean, just briefly running through it, it it's confusing. I mean, there's so much I need to know, but the good thing is, is it comes with a DVD that kind of simplifies some of the things that I'm gonna have to be doing. And um, already I've received one comment from somebody that echoes what is said in this book. And I will share that with you once I start um, kind of putting the, the drywall up, you know, against the walls. I've still got to get that insulation um, just put in everywhere. But this is going to be so cool. I'm going to read this book from cover to cover. And hopefully I will get this all right. Well, I'll go ahead and tell you what the thing is that is in this book. And this guy's been doing this stuff for, for years and years. That one of the comments, uh, one of the commenters, gosh, I can't remember the name of the person. Who was it? Who was it? I'll put the name up. Um, who suggested laying the, the drywall sideways this way and stacking another one on top of that. And that's exactly what it says in the book. That way you have less seams. Now, I don't know if that'll work for my cabin. I'm going to have to measure things um, because I may have to end up cutting another piece anyhow. I may have equal number of seams if I stand it up the 4 by 8 this way or put it this way. I don't know. But um, the thing is, is it makes perfect sense and it may be easier for me to do it that way. I don't know. We'll just have to see. Going to focus on the insulation first. But this book, oh my goodness. I mean, it's got it's got pictures. It's got detailed instructions. It's got so much. And it gets into more detailed type stuff. And it's got a substantial hanging drywall. 
an, a substantial amount of information in it. It tells you what tools you're going to need, um, how to cut the drywall, and all of that cool stuff. So, I'm going to be reading this cover to cover over the next however long it takes me to learn how to do this because I don't want to mess anything up. So thank you so much, Dad. This book is going to be awesome. It is exactly what I needed, and I will definitely, definitely be more confident putting drywall up as a result of having this information. And thank you, Pam Davis. All of your comments have been dead on, exactly right, as well as many of you other commenters. You are just helping me through this, and it's good to know that there's people out there who are looking out to make sure that this job gets done right, because I almost feel like you know, this is my home, but you're helping me have this beautiful home by making sure I don't screw it up. <laughs> you know, and I'm going to take my time, and this is going to be a lot of fun. So, um, what else am I going to get done today? Well, I went ahead and stapled this in, and it looks like crapola. But, you know, it's all right. It'll be okay, I think. And I put up two more over in this direction. I'm going to put at least two more up right here. And if I have enough energy, I'm going to move this drywall over to there and put a couple more up. My goal is to use up these last, well, one, two, three, four, so I don't have to carry them back and put them in the van. I've got a few remnants here, but I'm gonna, just going to save them for different areas. And, uh, yeah, over here in the kitchen area, we're going to have that same situation where the studs are too close together. And I will not just shove it in there on these. Um, I'm going to definitely cut it to the right size because I'm thinking I can use the little extra pieces in these little weird spots. You know what I mean? You know, and I've got spots up there. They're going to have to be cut. And yes, I think that's another one that is a little bit short, so I'll be cutting those a little bit more. And a couple more. I am going ahead and standing this drywall up against the walls like I did before. And yes, I will be putting the curtain drapes anywhere where there's not drywall just to keep that stuff away from me. I used up all of the rolls from the roof except for these remnants. And I'm going to try not to use these in the long walls because I've got more rolls out in the van that are whole. So these are going to be last result, last resort rolls. So that's it. I got the wall done all the way to here and all the way over there. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but for me, that's a lot of work. I went ahead and put two drywall parts up against the wall. And it looks like this is, it won't require another whole one. So the suggestion of laying them, you know, on their side may cause less seams. I don't know. Um, because this is basically eight feet. So that would mean one seam this way. And I'm still going to have another seam this way and a seam this way because we're going to have to cut this differently. So anyhow, that's how it's looking right now, you guys. Um, all great suggestions. This has been really, really awesome, but really, really exhausting. The good thing about today is the sun is trying to peek out of the clouds, so that's good. My solar needs to charge up a little bit. But I tell you what, my whole body aches whenever it starts raining or precipitating, snowing, whatever, my joints start barking at me. But you know what? You just got to keep going. I mean, my back hurts. I'm not injured. It's just a back ache. It aches. You know, my hip hurts. Um, my, my forearms hurt because I'm using muscles I've never used before. My hands and my fingers hurt. But if I stop moving, if I stop doing, then I start feeling old if you just keep moving and that's what I got to do I just got to keep moving keep doing you know little aches and pains sure you got to take a rest every once in a while but you just got to push through it sometimes and just keep going anyhow I am gonna have a nice uh, I, don't, I think I'm gonna have some some water some flavored water 
and chill out and uh, well do a little door dashing and then come home and rest anyway that's all I got for you guys see you in the next video thanks for watching everybody I hope you enjoyed the video make sure you like subscribe hit the bell and y'all have a good one